So the Lord be with you and, uh, and with your spirit uh, as we uh, are in the midst of the coronavirus. I've been really very, very touched by the outpouring of uh, spirit and love for uh, all the folks and from all the folks. Uh, uh, I know that our uh, Catholic schools have uh, responded very, very wonderfully and our teachers are in touch with our students daily and enabling them to continue their studies uh, and continue to grow in the faith. Uh, they've also enabled the uh, parishes to connect to uh, the different ministry that the schools are involved in, which has been a, 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 a real joy. Uh, I'm also hearing stories of our St. Vincent de Paul societies uh, having to adjust to uh, this whole circumstance, but they are still able to uh, provide uh, food on a pickup basis to our, our uh, people that are in greatest need uh, in the community of faith. And then I've also been touched by all of our priests and deacons and sisters and uh, lay people who continue to serve in ministry and to continue to be witnesses to Jesus Christ at this uh, very difficult uh, time. Uh, it's been a, a joy to watch. Uh, the uh, staff of the diocese is considered uh, essential, so they are on duty uh, at this moment and they have been in contact with uh, all of their different uh, departments and their peers and all the different uh, uh, ministries that we have in the diocese and then we as a church have now uh, really moved into uh, the virtual realm and so uh, mass is still offered uh, on weekdays uh, streaming live from our cathedral in Biloxi at 8 a.m. and that'll be Monday through Saturday and then on Sundays mass will be at 11 a.m. Uh, also I will be celebrating mass on uh, Instagram uh, at 11.30 uh, most days during the week except for Sunday uh, and uh, we just encourage you to participate uh, in your spiritual communion with us uh, we are a, a virtual church of prayer a virtual church of sacrifice a virtual church of penance and a virtual church of almsgiving at this moment uh, and still as a church we are together we are one in faith one in hope and one in love in Jesus Christ. And so may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.